the mastaba of Serpentine Lake is built by 7,506 barrels. It's 20 meters high. The slanted wall in the water level is 30 meters, in the vertical wall is 40 meters. And that is the most magical proportion of that structure. All that colors is chosen exactly with how the lake is situated and the greenery of this gorgeous park. And you can see using the vertical wall have a deep red, almost border red, a deep blue and mauve. The slanted wall have a red and between the ribs is a white. This magic force of how the, the master by reacting and the sun and the light is always absolutely in some way strange to the landscape, in some way extremely attractive to the landscape. The Mastaba is a very old geometric form. The first urban civilization uh, we know in the area called Mesopotamia, today's Iraq, and archaeologists discovered their streets and houses, and in front of these houses there was a bench to sit. That bench had the form of flat surface to sit, and of course two vertical sides for the your legs, and two slanted sides that the mud bench don't fall down. All people in the area in the Middle East, they're telling the name Mastaba. I was born in Bulgaria, and I escaped from the communist country to the West on January 10, 1957. I met Jean-Claude on November 1958, and we together fall in love, and we live in Paris, between 58 and 64, I was so poor. Uh, to, I have no studio. I was living, I living in one room, and uh, I started to work with the little cans, tin cans, of um, paint, industrial paint. From the cans, to a smaller size, I moved to the small size barrels. I need to rent a garage outside of Paris when I start to work with real barrels, and all that trajectory is in the early years, late 50, early years and 60, and, and the first real stacking horizontally barrels, who was made like a temporary installation, was the exhibition in Cologne in 1961, and at the same time proposal to do the Iron Curtain when Berlin Wall was built. I was worried that Third World War would start. The Soviet take over uh, Budapest Revolution when I escaped and there was a big turmoil and I remember very scared that probably they will run over West Germany and go back to Paris and I proposed to do the, this my artistic art curtain and the most small street and the Rivers County in the left bank of Paris and it was realized in the summer of 1962. In the mid 60s there was also an idea to do the floating mastaba in Lake Michigan, but we never realized it. And when Hans Ulrich Horvath discussed to bring the exhibition here about the story of the barrels, I saw that opening of the lake from the bridge, and I think let's try to do the mastaba here. We never do commission. This is why, in all this year, we realized very few projects. We pre-sell almost all the mastaba of London before even they exist to the galleries and collectors who were willing to pay, and this is why we have money to build the mastaba. That project cost three million pounds. From the engineering to the workers to the materials, the barrels they fabricated in Holland, we need to pay trucks, we need a factory, we need to hire workers, and we pay for that, all these things. All the quality, all the decision is done because it's our money, there is no money back. The, we have something back, Jean-Claude was saying, always saying, it's better than any money. We have the master back.